Hey everyone, Ken Surfs here, and it's time for another shave. It's uh, Thursday. You know, I must have fell asleep during that exciting Super Bowl and just woke up because uh, yeah, I've, I've missed you guys. No, actually, uh, yeah, Super Bowl, you know, congratulations, New England. You know, either way, that was not that an exciting game. Now, some of you might think uh, I'm wrong, but... Uh, I happened to be on Benadryl at the time, and I was pretty sleepy. But uh, I ended up, uh, that head cold got real bad, so I ended up taking Monday and Tuesday off work. So I went back yesterday and came home, had to go bowling. Did not uh, get a chance to do a video a shave this week. So uh, here we are, Thursday afternoon. My wife is on her way, so I've got to make the best of it. But I've been growing this out a little bit, so uh, hopefully we get a, a good shave today. And the soap I'm using today is a new limited edition tin, 130 tins only, from Victory Shaving Company, and it's called Witchcraft. And Witchcraft uh, was the name of a World War II B-24 Liberator that flew 130 missions over Germany. I believe it was over Germany. And uh, never had a crew member injured or killed. That's Pretty dang lucky, uh, 130 missions. So I'm gonna be using this soap today. And this soap, it's got the smell, a very strong smell of fresh cut leather, and it's got tobacco. And what was the other one? It was leather, tobacco. Yeah, leather, woods, and tobacco. But I definitely smell the tobacco, but the, the fresh cut leather is definitely in there. So I'm gonna be using this today. I'm going to be uh, putting it in the Van Ule shave bowl. In fact, I just ordered another one of these. It's, you know, these, these, these bowls are really cool. They have seconds, which might not just be as perfect. I think they're about eight bucks, but uh, they have many different colors. So I ordered blue. I wanted to see light blue. I've seen a purple on uh, one of the forums, and that might be the next one. But uh, the blue one is on the way. She shipped it. And uh, actually, I'm looking forward to meeting Monica from Van Ule at the Big Shave Southwest that coming up. So I'm going to put that in there. I'm going to get my 50 pence piece out. Get some soap out of here. I use this as my scoop. I heard one of you, Jen, say that I guess you were in the UK and you, were, you had your 50 pence piece lying out there and your wife was uh, <laughs> kept taking it not knowing that uh, it was uh, part of your shaving regime. All right, so I've put some soap in there. Hopefully that's enough. I'm gonna be using an old favorite of mine today, and that is the uh, long-handled Black Beauty with the metal, the metal base. Remember in the later 70s, they went to plastic base. And, oh man, I'm a little nervous about this, but We'll use a feather in this razor. I've never, now my hands are all, of course, covered with. Soap, so I cannot open this stupid packet. Here we go. Man, soap everywhere. All right. And yes, I do know how to, uh, oh, actually, uh, blade came out with it. Taking that feather blade out of there. And if this goes south, it's not, I've never used a feather in a, a vintage Gillette, so. But I've seen that black beauty staring at me and I go, you know, one of these shaves, I'm going to have to use it. All right, got the feather. Put it in there, feathers in. And, you know, I'm a little nervous, so I'm gonna set it on setting number two today. Fine. It's cold here. Check out the temperature this morning. Nice and warm this morning. You guys are probably laughing. 38 degrees, that's like summer where we're at, but nah, man, it's cold for Southern California, trust me. And there's snow completely around the local mountains, so it's great. So I'm a little too lazy to take off my doggone Under Armour. So I'm gonna turn that down. Man, tank top, we haven't had the heater on all day in the house. 
just came home, so yeah, it's cold in here. All right. Yeah. My spare crystal skull with uh, Frank's shaving badger brush in there. And from Europe. We'll be trying this out as the aftershave today. I've heard mixed reviews on this. First of all, I guess you can go into any store in Europe and probably find it. Pharmacies uh, can't find it here. So to me, if it's hard to find, I got to try it. To me, it actually smells pretty close to the Williams. Very, pretty close. But my nose is stuffed up, so please don't hold that against me. All right. Let's wet that a little bit. Get the Frank shaving there. Start whipping that up. I can smell that leather. Probably had a little bit too much uh, water in there, but hey, it makes for, I mean, it's overflowing here. A little too wet. We'll work it a bit more. There we go. I like my shave soap on the little bit on the thin side. Everybody's different. Oh, my God. <laughs> I did get a chance to catch up on some DVDs. You know, when you're laid up with a head cold, there's not much you can do. I ended up uh, staying home uh, Monday. My wife was at work. So I got to catch up on all the good old raunchy comedies from the 80s. And if you haven't seen it, man, it's one of my favorite 80s comedies. And it's it's definitely underrated. And if you guys have never seen it, The Hollywood Nights with Tony Danza and Michelle Pfeiffer. One funny, funny, funny comedy. That's on my favorite list along with Animal House, Caddyshack. I'm telling you, it's worth a look. Had some mail calls coming. I'm still waiting for my Floris, ninth, or Floris 89 to be shipped. I guess it's coming in from Europe. Uh, I want to do a James Bond shave. Might as well use the cologne he supposedly uses in all of the books. Either I'm getting good at this, or <laughs> I'm just getting used to these feather blades. I would never have attempted that a year or so ago. Oh, man. Come on. There we go. What is the other movies coming out? Alita? Battle Angel? I don't know. I like Robert Rodriguez. He does some good movies. 
really waiting for Rambo, is it five? Rambo, the final blood with Stallone and Arnold in Terminator. I don't know if they're coming out this year. I think they are. Actually, uh, Stallone's filming uh, Rambo. So uh, I don't think that one will be coming out this year. I'm just a movie nut, right? Can you tell? Mainly a James Bond fan. And when the hell? Come on, Daniel Craig. Start filming the next Bond movie. Or, or get Edris Elba in there as the next James Bond. Somebody get another Bond movie out there, man. Come on. We're waiting. I have another Black Beauty that uh, has arrived in a mail call, and I'm going to have to check that out and uh, see what year it is. I bought a batch off eBay, so uh, I haven't even opened it yet. When you're not feeling so hot, it... it uh, if I could have had pizza delivered to me in bed, I would have enjoyed that, but I didn't feel like eating either. You guys had the cold this year? The flu? We had a gentleman at work. He came in with it. And three of us got it. So Monday and Tuesday, th three of us were out. Because the gentleman, instead of uh, maybe staying home, figured he was well enough to come in. Now, I'm not sure if we got it from him, but man, if you're sick, stay home. Don't give it to me. You hearing that? That feather. Wow. Now that's on setting two, though. Maybe it's just this soap. It's <laughs> As if something would have went wrong, it could have been the soap. Because, I mean, I'm putting it to the test. Way to go, Victory Shave Company. Nice. I'm not going to tempt it. Nice, nice. Now, here we go. Cold water. Oh. I understand that blizzard soap. We did the video, I did the review for you, and uh, it was really good. It sold out quick, but I understand they've, they've made some more, so it's back on the shelf. So uh, I appreciate you guys checking out these, uh, these great vendors and artisans, and uh, we've got some great products out there. And I do have another razor coming. I'll keep it a surprise. Somebody had asked, try this razor out. And uh, went to the site, thought it looked pretty cool, so it's being ordered. All right. So here we go. Brute Oceans. It definitely does not smell like the green regular Brute. I don't think I have any. I've got the original Brute up there from Fabergé. I had some somewhere. But... Uh, the green bottle definitely doesn't smell like that. It's got a good burn to it. Oh, a good burn. Yeah, it's got a different smell. Very close to the Williams Aqua Velva. Maybe good, but I had to pay shipping to get it here. You guys can get that for reasonable price in Europe. Yeah. That'll last a while, right? Right? That's the average size bottle. I know some of you say it just is terrible. It's Paris. Brute Parfums Prestige from Paris. But that's okay. Now, my wife would probably not like it. She doesn't like any 
I don't know if she's just a snobby, but she doesn't like, <laughs> well, I take it back. She does like the skin bracer by men and she'll tolerate that, but she does not like the old, <laughs> the brute or the old spice. She goes, come on, you know, everybody smells like that. In fact, I've got to, uh, I got to bring back some of the classic colognes and start using them again pretty soon. So they're staring at me. I definitely got to do that. And I still didn't figure out who broke that crystal skull. I had this just sitting on top of it. Now, I'm not going to put it on, you know, I had it just sitting there. So I don't know if the dog jumped on this or if the sun heated this up because it was, it was outside on a hamper just outside the door, but just done. But uh, yeah, I got that one and I got to keep an eye out for another one. Thank you very much for watching. Didn't mean to blabber on. Still on Benadryl, but I'm just not sleepy now. And uh do look forward to doing another shave, another video real soon. I don't think I wet the uh, Under Armour. These things keep you warm. All right. Cool. Check out Hollywood Nights with Tony Danza and Michelle Pfeiffer. Tell me what you think. If you've already seen it, throw me some quotes in there, man. Uh, I could tell you the quotes, but some of them are not. That. It's kind of a raunchy comedy, trust me. All right, guys. Uh, we'll see you next time. It's Ken Sir saying have a great night.